Okay, let's go ahead and solve this percent problem. And the question is, seven is what percent of 30? All right, so if you know how to solve this particular problem, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct uh, answer in just one moment. And of course, I'm gonna walk through the solution to this problem step by step. But here's the thing, if you happen to get this right, but you didn't really understand what you did, well, you can, you know, you basically guessed and you got lucky, which is, I guess, okay, but that's not what we want. We actually want you to understand percent. When it comes to percent and solving percent problems, probably nothing is more important in terms of practical mathematics than percent. So you really need, uh, definitely need to know a lot about it. Of course, I'm going to discuss what percent is and how to solve this particular problem in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I have been teaching math for decades. It's really my true passion to help as many people as I possibly can learn mathematics. I'm going to tell you right now, all of you can be successful in math. And I'm especially speaking to those of you that have a tough time with math. Please don't give up. The main thing you need to be successful in math is great math instruction. In other words, whoever you're learning math from or whatever you're learning math from, if you're not understanding what's going on, well, you're going to get lost, right? And then you're going to get frustrated, and then you're going to think you're a bad math student or if you're, you're kind of unable to learn math. That's not true, okay? Math is a technical subject. The way I like to teach math is to explain things in easy to understand, uh, understand language so all students get what's going on uh, without watering down what you need to know. So if you need help in your current math course or maybe some sort of special test that has math on it that you're getting ready for, things like the GED, ASVAB, maybe the SAT, ACT, or teacher certification exam, or if you're homeschooling mathematics, check out my math help program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. I literally have over 100 plus different uh, courses, math courses, that span these categories and much, much more. I'm also going to leave links to my math notes in the description as well. Everybody needs an awesome pair of math notes. You should be taking your own comprehensive math notes. If you are not, you need to immediately start doing, uh, uh, start improving in your note taking as note taking is essential to being successful in mathematics. But you can use my notes in the meantime if you like. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so seven is what percentage of 30. Now, don't let this word um, kind of fool you, percentage. I could have easily used the word percent. Seven is what percent of 30? So when you see the word percent or percentage, it effectively is the same thing. But let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The answer is approximately 23.3%. This is the answer. Okay, so how did you do? Well, if you got this right, let's go ahead and celebrate your knowledge of percent by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus, A 100% and multiple stars so you can have an extra special day knowing that you can confidently tackle a percent problem. Now, this particular problem is pretty easy. There is other types of percent problems that you're gonna wanna be able to do. So for example, I could give you a problem like 18 is 2.8% of what number, okay? So 18 is 2.8% of what number? I could start throwing out all kinds of crazy percent problems. So the one thing about percent is you want to make sure that you can do a variety of different percent problems. Not easy stuff like the, uh, I would say that the problem that we're looking at here is pretty fundamental. Uh, a problem like this, for example, 6% of 32 is what? Well, most of us know that we have to change this to a this percent to a decimal, then we multiply by 32. So if you have a pretty good basic understanding of percent, that's excellent. But again, don't stop uh, you know, after this prom and think that ah, I know everything about percent. Make sure you do other type of percent proms as well if you want to be fully awesome in percent. All right, let's go ahead and get started with the solution here. And here is the problem, but let's make sure we understand what percent is like what is percent what's the definition of percent well here's a couple of different ways you can think about percent so percent in a very specific technical kind of definition is a number that we compare to 100 okay so here is seven percent so i'm going to uh, compare that seven to 100 seven out of 100 so a number compared to 100 
is uh, a percent, okay? So seven over 100, I can also write as 7%. But the main idea here is percent is a fraction where 100 is the denominator. Now here I have seven over 100. I can write this fraction as the decimal 0 0.07, right? But we always want to ex express our decimals and fractions as percent. And we just do that by multiplying by 100. So here it is 7%. So that's a basic definition uh, of percent and one that you need to know. But there's another way you can think of percent and that is a part out of a whole, okay? So if I wanted to know uh, what percent of uh, three is out of four, okay? Three is what percent of four? Well, what is the whole and what is the part? Well, the entire thing is four, right? Because I want to know how much is three out of four. All right, kind of think of like a little pizza pie here. So here is our little uh, four um, little pizza slices. So here's one, two, three. So how many is three out of four? So you want to be thinking in terms of part out of whole as well. It's a good another model for percent. So three divided by four is the decimal 0.75. Or we could take that 0.75, multiply by 100, right? So we're going to change from a decimal into a percent by moving the decimal point over two places to the right, which is the same thing as multiplying by 100, and we get 75%. Uh, so 3 is 75% of 4, all right? So this is another model of percent that you want to understand, and you want to know the technical definition of percent as well. And, of course, you need to be able to... Uh, uh, write a decimal as a percent and a percent as a decimal and a fraction as a decimal, etc. So these are all some basic foundational skills that um, you may need to review um, if you want to, uh, you know, if you're not, you know, kind of keeping up with what I'm saying. But uh, before we get, uh, before we go any further in here, if you really are looking to brush up on basic math, kind of like things in elementary and middle school level mathematics, and you need a real good little mini course, I'm gonna suggest my Math Foundations course. It's a three chapter course. I literally go over everything from basic mathematics, fractions, decimals, place values, percent, positive, negative numbers, all that kind of good stuff. So you can check that out by just going to my Math Help program. That's a good uh, little uh, refresher course for those of you that really wanna brush up on these topics. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the problem now. So seven is what percentage of 30? Again, this is the same thing as percent, percentage. Uh, sometimes you'll see that word, but more often you'll see percent. So let's just kind of look at this as uh, identifying the part and the whole, okay? So seven is some percentage, some part of 30, okay? So again, we're thinking about some model. So seven is the part and 30 is uh, the whole. Okay, so let's compare 7 and 30, and we'll compare it this way, right? So percent, again, we could think of as some part out of the entire whole. So this would be 7. How much is 7 out of 30? Okay, that we could express that as percent. So 7 divided by 30 in our calculator gives us the decimal 0.23 repeating, right? This little bar over the 3 means a three repeats. In other words, you got 2.33333. The threes go indefinitely, so we can just write that decimal as 0.23 repeating. But here I have a decimal. Okay, we're not, we don't want a decimal, we want a percent. So we have to convert um, or uh, write our decimal as a percent. And the way we do that is we multiply that percent, I'm sorry, that decimal by 100 or we simply move the decimal point over two places to the right. In this case, you'll end up with two point, uh, or two, uh, 23.3. Of course, these threes go on and on and on. Technically, this would be the most correct, 23.3 repeating percent, or 23.3 percent. Uh, both answers are fine. Okay, so again, percent, uh, to solve a, a variety of different percent problems, you really do need to have a good solid foundation of what percent is, okay, and how we can kind of model it. So, you know, uh, basic problems, again, like finding a percent of a number, these are real, you know, kind of very common type of percent problems. But, you know, you get you know, more interesting problems, like the things right here, that I kind of wrote it up here, like 18 is 28 
percent of what number and you know in this particular problem right here you might have to use a little bit of algebra or some other techniques uh, that you may have learned back uh, when you studied mathematics but here's the thing don't go you know um, on with your uh, life with saying ah, I don't really need to understand percent as long as I know how to do basic percent problems I'll be perfectly fine Listen, just think about it. How often do you see this symbol? Okay, you see this everywhere. I can, I, you know, you go to the store, you see this symbol. There's sales going on. There's uh, credit card uh, interest rates. You know, you uh, look at the news. They're talking about inflation. They're talking about mortgage rates. You know, if you open up your mail, you see this symbol continuously throughout the day. So the more you know about percent, the better off you're going to be, not only in your personal finances, just in life, okay? So again, uh, make sure you follow up and do more percent proms if you're not quite sure. If you want um, more percent proms to, to check out, I have a ton of different percent proms on my YouTube channel as well, but if you really need to learn this again in a more formal way, I'm gonna suggest two courses, that math foundation course I was referencing and uh, my uh, pre-algebra or even my algebra one course, I teach a percent in all those courses. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.